And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, elephants and zebras, fairies and gypsies. Now, today what I'm making for you, flour tortillas. They just pronounce tortilla, not... I can't even pronounce it the way people pronounce it up here. But today I'm making tortillas. I will provide you a link to the recipe. Um, these are flour tortillas, not corn tortillas. It was requested of me to make a video on corn tortillas. Um, here's the thing about corn tortillas. Um, the main how do you say um, when I make corn tortillas which I don't do very often I use a tortilla press which is not traditional traditional you would back and forth in your hand I will show you my hands in a second they have flour all over them um, flour tortillas are a lot easier pretty straightforward actually corn tortillas are pretty straightforward as well it's just there's a different you make them differently Flour tortillas you roll, corn tortillas you press, or you back and forth in your hands. So my hands are covered in dough because I've been making the tortillas. That bowl right there has the mix in there. Now the recipe calls for four cups of flour. I am only using two. The reason for that because I don't want to waste it. I'm only making enough for two people and our fur babies, which they hopefully won't want this, but you never know. Um, so two cups of, of flour. I was about to say two cups of tortillas. You don't want two cups of tortillas. You want two cups of flour. That is a wooden cutting board, right? Right there. Now what I'm going to do is take these out. I'm going to make little balls. Maybe about golf ball, a little bigger than a golf ball. You can actually reduce that a little bit. And what I do is I, I roll this out, press it down, and then I, I use a rolling pin. So I will show you over here. Sorry you can't see what I'm doing over here very well, but... This is what you call a rolling pin. And what I will do, I will move this. Now, the recipe calls for using lard. It says to use lard. The recipe emphasizes don't use anything but lard. Well, you don't have to use lard. No, I'm not going to hit you over the head with a rolling pin. Uh, but um, I use shortening, butter, all, whatever. Uh, you don't have to use lard okay it may come out better it may not come out better using lard I've used it I really don't see a difference uh, can you see there's a over there that is an empty container of vegetable shortening that we got free from the King Community Kitchen quite some time ago and uh, I was gonna buy some I was gonna buy that same brand but I looked it up on, I think, Amazon, and it's like 15, 20 bucks. I'm like, I'm not spending that much money on vegetable shortening. Are you out of your mind? Well, I know I'm out of my mind, but are you out of your mind? So, yeah, I use this. Uh, this is about gone. This is just a cheap Walmart great value brand shortening so I'm sorry I could not show you the whole process but I don't know how to edit videos so what we do is we take this roll it up first actually what you want to do is you want to roll it roll them up and let them sit for a few minutes because they do have um, they have baking powder in them and you don't want them too big you don't want them too small Just roll them up and like I said roll them up 
and just let them sit kind of let them rise a little bit there's a uh, salt flour shortening water I think that's it it's a pretty straightforward recipe um, I guess you could use um, what was I going to say uh, I guess you could go without the baking powder but because they don't really rise a whole lot but it is see one two three four five that's six and I still have all that left so that's why I said I only use two cups of flour instead of four so basically if you're following the right if you're looking at the recipe cut everything by half now the agua water water say it in English James I am from Cadiz, España, and my birth name is Jaime. So if I say something in Spanish, which I do sometimes, forgive me. But anyway, um, so let's take a bowl. Like I said, I'm sorry you can't really see what I'm doing. If the, I can put the camera over here, but I can't. And I flatten it out. There's there's flour on here. I've actually been doing a number of things lately, so there's flour everywhere on me. Well, it was on me yesterday. And then you just roll it out. You want it thin. Like I said, flour tortillas, you uh, you roll. Corn tortillas, you press. No, I'm not great at making these. I do make them and it's probably better for you and a lot cheaper than what you buy in the market in the market in the grocery store so that is flattened out and maybe I need to turn this light off sorry I, I have difficulty with balance and things so um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some more of these and then uh, then what I will do is I will put them to the side and I will just let them rest and once I have enough of these done I will put the uh, the griddle on you can use a griddle you can use a, a skillet a frying pan whatever uh, just you just want uh, hot you want it really hot when you cook it because it cooks fast it, it'll bubble up and it'll start bubbling there's two little bubbles in it and and then you flip it it doesn't really take long to cook you cook it on a relatively high temperature so I have the cutting board here and I can't move this stuff over here right now uh, this griddle right here is what I would use I, I'm going to use but not until I have all these done um, so what you do is you, again Make sure there's flour on here. You flatten it out. You grab your rolling pin and you roll it. Now, what can you do with a tortilla, with a flour tortilla? You can do just about anything you want with it. Um, what we're going to be doing with it, we're going to be making bean tacos. Of course, I'm going to make mine spicy. And the beautiful woman in the other room does not want her spicy, so I will not be making her spicy. So they're not they're not round, not even close, but there's another one. It's the other side. So that's two. I am going to. I wonder if I can pause this. I don't think I, I can pause it. Yeah, maybe I can. I'm going to pause this and I will be back. And hello, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I'm sorry I need to turn the volume off or turn that. At that point. Okay. Um, I have. Well, I thought I turned that off and I didn't. I hope you can hear me. I'm 
my mom was trying to convince him to let her go. Um, Hold she on, wouldn't people. Tell anybody when he had her uh, in the. Okay, there we go. Oh, you can see my balding head there. Okay. In that pot yonder, over there, uh, or there, there are frijoles negros, which are black beans. Then you see the griddle here. I'm heating that up. I can smell it and feel the heat already. Um, tortillas are sitting on top of that pitcher right there. And I will, I'm waiting for the griddle to heat up. And then I'll start on the uh, start cooking the tortillas. So we are also going to have some other things to go with it, not just beans and tortillas. Although when I was in Mexico, and met in Mexico during college, I uh, we went on a a mission field trip to Mexico, Nuevo Laredo, and the family we stayed with we divided up into groups. We stayed with different families, and the group I was with, the uh, the family we stayed with morning noon and night we ate tortillas flour tortillas and refried beans um the refried beans the frijoles refrito uh are from a can they're not homemade uh it would take too long to make those today so i'm not going to do that but maybe in another video i will show you how to make refried beans it's really simple it really is. It's just you have to cook the beans, and for those who know about cooking beans, it can take a while. So I will uh, be back in a little while. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. The griddle is going. The pan over yonder is, uh, mm, it has the refried beans in it. Now, uh, what I did with the refried beans, because they can kind of dry out, is I put just a little bit of olive oil in there it gives it a little flavor and it also keeps it from drying out so much um, I am from I'm from Spain but and I love olive oil but I'm not real fond of olives go figure huh? but anyway so I'm about to uh, throw the tortillas on so you can I don't know if you can see the the smoke coming up there but now what you do is you take a tortilla this one is actually kind of thick throw it on there and take another one and throw it on here and stir those a little bit now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a tortilla press this is a wooden one that I bought on Amazon uh, it works better than the metal one that I have, but it's still not what I'm wanting. Um, this has uh, wax paper. What you do is you take the, when you're making corn tortillas, you take the corn, the, the masa, it's called masa, and you put it right down here, put it here, like take a ball, put it here, put the wax paper over it, push that down and kind of press on it then this and you press down on it and it, it flattens out the thing is that even with this one it's still a little too thick for my liking although it's a lot better than the the metal one that I have which is a cheap one this one's not cheap uh, if you had a choice between this one and one of those metal ones you buy in the market I'd buy this instead although what I do have found with this one what I have to do is I have to take it in um, and turn it halfway around and press it again maybe even turn it a quarter around and keep going so I just wanted to show that now these are starting to already get bubbles in them I'm gonna they're not they're not ready to turn yet but this is beans for holy for frito those can be turned to low and um, all I did was add, like I said, some olive oil and a little bit of pepper because frijoles negros you really don't need to add a whole lot to it. Because I think frijoles negros, are, uh, that is to say black beans, are in the very blurry, aren't we? Um, 
Whoops, now I don't have a screen. Uh, see all my, all the flour on my hand. So let's go back here. So the Frolies Negros, the black beans, um, root fried black beans, those are just going to sit there. Uh, they're on low. Whoops. You don't need a spatula. You can use one, but you really don't need one. Um, you know, you could probably make these at a campsite without a problem. Um, you could find a nice uh, smooth stick. And I, I know the... Let's see if that helps. Flurry of close, but is it better at a distance? Um, Let me show you how it, it'll bubble up and uh, start turning brownish. See, that's about when you want to take them off. They will puff a little bit, but not much. And uh, this is turned up to uh, seven on both the front and back burners. They're turned up to a seven. Um, I'm about to take these all. I want to that a little bit and like I said that one that one that I put on, ooh, put on there is a little thick so it's going to cook a little longer and what I do is I take some paper towels and just you can really sit it anywhere I can actually sit it right here take a paper towel I don't need it yet what I will do is Take the tortilla, put it down there, put a paper towel over it, throw another one on here, take that one off, put that up there. I'm sorry it's blurry for over here, but you know, the paper towel helps keep it warm. You can use a cloth towel, you don't have to use paper. Now I have that space over there. I can put that down and um, I'm going to put this on pause again, so, bye. And welcome, sorry about all the smoke folks, but that's what happens when I cook. Okay. That's nice and hot, that is a cooked tortilla, that looks good. It goes over there. Like I said, you don't, you don't need a spatula for this. Um, the oven, the stove is off, the tortillas are ready, um, frijoles negros and frito, Put that off, and now what we're going to do is we have, we have, uh, cheese, and cream of sour, also known as sour cream. Sorry, I'm going to have to open a door to get some of the smoke out of here. But uh, that is, you know, what you do with the tortilla is you take some frijoles, you put it in here with some cheese, sour cream, whatever you want to put in there, whatever you have. We don't have lettuce or tomato, so we're not putting that in there. We'll put cheese and frijoles in here. That is cheese and refried beans. And um, just eat it. You just, you just fold it up or roll it up and you got yourself a meal. It's nutritious, cheap, quick, and easy. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cooking with Lisa and Seamus. Have a good night.